What up, though? And welcome back to my new YouTube channel, Old School Hip Hop Head Rio Reacts. Now, I do have another YouTube channel called Rio's Reactions that I've had for a while. And on that channel, it's 99.9% .9 old school golden era hip hop from like 2008 and eight all the way back to Grandmaster Flash. So if you're ever in the mood to watch some old school hip hop reactions, check me out on Rio's Reactions. So today's reaction is a subscriber request from Michelle. Shout out to Michelle for this request. This is Madonna Material Girl. <clears throat> I'm not going to front. I'm 47 years old, and when Madonna came out, Madonna was legit, son. Like, she was probably one of the, uh, I ain't going to say, I was going to say she was probably one of the first pop stars that I was fucking with, <laughs> but that's not the case. It was so much, so many pop stars back then. Um, Hip-hop was, like, this fucking big, you know what I mean? So everything was pop or considered old school, actually. Um, so, <clears throat> but Madonna was fired out the gate. Yo, the black community fully embraced Madonna from the beginning as far as the music goes. And then, uh, and and then you know, Madonna just went on to become one of the biggest musical stars ever. Like, honestly, in my lifetime, I'm 47 years old. Like, you, you there was nobody ever bigger than Madonna. I don't know who the artists are now. Taylor Swift, Beyonce, like you weren't bigger than Madonna when she came out in the 80s. Like she was as high as you can get back there. You know what I mean? So without further ado, let's get to this video. Madonna, Material Girl. This had to come out like 86, something like that, right? Or am I, or am I off? I'm just guessing. <clears throat> Fantastic. I knew she'd be a star. She could be. She could be great. She could be a major star. She is a star, George. The biggest star in the universe right now as we speak. Those who love the set, the director's got all kinds of things. The director's hot. He's hit. This is part of the video. He's going to be doing all kinds of things. He's going to change the color of the set. I like He's got a great idea for a blue. Don't change anything, George. He touches one thing, he's gone. <laughs> he's I want to meet her. You got it. Anytime. Name the place. Name anywhere, mm -hmm. any street. You got it. Now. He's still after me. He just gave me a necklace. I don't know, I think it's real diamonds. Yeah, he thinks he can impress me by giving me expensive gifts. I don't recall this part of the song. It's nice though. <laughs> or ever seeing this video. She just said the boy with the cold hard cold hard cash is always Mr. Right. Damn. I guess I never really listened to the words of the song when I was a kid, or I really didn't know what a gold digger was. <laughs> now, now I want to run that back a little bit so I can really catch on to what she was saying. <laughs> By giving me expensive gifts. That's gold diggerish though. It's like you should though. be happy about that. You want it? But she want the cold hard cash. Get out of here with that. They can't see the night. So, I feel like Kanye West should give all credit to Madonna for Gold Digger. Like, I never heard him in a video talking about, I, uh, 
you know, I use Madonna as inspiration for Gold Digger because, I mean, she is just, that is as plain as day what Madonna's talking about right now. I mean, I feel like Kanye West has jacked this for Madonna, and he needs to give her the credit that she deserves for birthing gold digging hoes. Like, shout out to Madonna for giving a voice for the voiceless. <laughs> I'm from Detroit. We used to call them sack chasers back in my day because, you know, niggas had the dope sack. You know, they got the money, you know, the girl, you know what I mean? So, like, we called them sack chasers. Like, but Madonna literally had the first gold digging song out there, son. That's dope. All right, man, let's keep it moving. I'm at tour now, bro. Hey, Madonna's hot, son. I ain't going front. Madonna's good looking, yo. Yeah, ain't bullshit. Yo, to be a pop star, you gotta have that it factor, son. And Madonna had the it factor. Like, she just has so much swag, you know. Those are the real stars, son. Like... That shit can't, you can't be taught that. That's got to be in there. Like, when they say lights, camera, action, like, Madonna, turn the fuck on. You know what I mean? Like, it's just oozing out of her. Like, the aura. You know what I mean? Like, she's a presence in this fucking video, son. <clears throat> That's my part right there. Smoke some more, Madonna. Yo, so all of that, and she ended up going with the guy in a busted up pickup truck? What the hell? I'm confused by the meaning of that message there, yo. <laughs> yo, 
that video was really dope to me, man. Mainly because, like, I don't know. I just like the way Madonna came off in that fucking video, son. Like, you could just... I can, like, you can see the talent in her, you know what I mean? Like, even the little subtle dance steps and the choreography that was going on, even though they weren't doing, like, full, like, Beyonce-type dance routines and all Fred Astaire-type shit, like, like, she was on point with that shit, though, you know what I mean? That reminds me, like, when I watched the Michael Jackson shit, and he'd be, like, the rehearsals and how on point he'd be compared to the professional dancers, and they'd be like, damn, this nigga Mike is a better dancer than the dancers, nigga. And he do all the other mic shit, you know what I mean? Like, like you could just see, like like I said, I just feel like certain stars, like pop stars, musical stars, like I feel like it's just in them, yo, like naturally type shit. But anyway, on to the next one I'm out.